Hi, it's uh, Brett from BWC Flies. Today we're just going to tie a couple of little bread flies to fish for mullet um, in the local estuary system. So the first one that we're going to do is the chenille fly, uh, chenille fly. It's fairly simple to tie. So we've got a size 8 hook in the vise at the moment. Just going to use some Danville's flat wax thread and just make a nice little layer right across the hook shank to start about an eye back along the shank and wrap over the tail that I've got holding in my left hand and cover it down just to around about where that hook point sits trim that tag off I'm going to take that thread all the way back up to the front I like to make a nice bed of thread along the hook shanks here just to allow the materials to to grip onto for the chenille fly, it's pretty simple. We're just going to use some rayon chenille in white. And this is done by a Wopsy. They're a really, um, really big fly tying material supplier. Make some great products here. So we're just going to take a little bit of that off. You'll end up with a little bit of a tag just on the end. We're going to tie that tag in just at the front. A couple of wraps. Make sure that's nice and secure. Don't need to cut it off, just clip it into a little groove there so you don't waste too many too many materials. I'm just going to take this back towards the bend of the hook. Some nice close wraps. Just pull down with each with each wrap, make sure it's nice and tight. Down to where we finish the thread, which should be just above the point. I'm going to bring this further forward take it all the way back to the front so you're just building up a nice little fat fat profile it looks like a little ball of bread so this one sinks so you can cast this out to, uh, to out to the mullet or out to the brim that you can see it'll be fish on so we're using a little fresh water hook here today so you can use it in the fresh if you're going to use it in the salt, just make sure you wash your fly up. Cut that chenille off, a couple of wraps, build up the head. And then just a nice little whip finish. One, two, three, about four of those. Pull that tag down nice and tight, like so. And then just to secure it, one, two, three, over there like that. That'll be nice and tight, locks all that materials in. Clip your thread off. Grab a little bit of UV glue. Pop that over the top of that thread. UV torch. And that'll pretty much never come undone. And that fly's ready to, ready to take down the estuary and go for a fish. Okay, this is the second style of bread fly that we're going to tie. This one's the bread fly made out of the egg yarn. So this is another product by Wopsy. And it's just the egg yarn in the white colour. Unlike the chenille fly, which sinks pretty quickly, using the yarn just allows you to control the water depth a bit more where you want to fish. Actually puffs up nice in the water. And the sink rate is a lot slower. So we're going to do the same again with the, with the thread. We're using the same thread again, Danville's Flat Waxed. Put a nice bed of thread along this shank. We've changed the hook. We're using a little salt water hook this time. A little stainless steel one. Size, I think it's size 8, same size as before. Cut the tag off, get rid of that. Wrap the thread to the front. For this fly, I like a really nice base. So I actually bring this thread back again, just so the yarn beds right into it. So back to about here. There's heaps in this packet, so you make a thousand bread flies. I'm just going to clip a little piece off, around about two centimeters. Is all that you really need. That sort of size. Give it a bit of a puff out. I'm going to put this right on top of the shank. 
change the hands, push it around the shank a little bit, nice little loose wrap, second one, and then pull it nice and tight, just like so. Give that a bit of a bit of a twist up. So we've locked that, that yarn in. We're going to put another one of these in. So lock that in place just here. A couple of wraps, build it up, forward. Leave a couple of mil from the from the eye of this hook. We'll take another piece. Same again, about a centimeter and a half to two. Push it around that shank of that hook. Two more loose wraps. Down nice and tight. Okay, so we've got the second piece in place. We're just going to wrap that. Pull it down, make sure it's locked in nice and tight. And build up this thread just behind it. We're going to whip finish it at this point, then we're going to trim the fly. This is a little bit. Puff it up. Okay. A couple of couple of whip finishes to finish him off. One, two, three just there. I'm going to put a second one over the top just to lock it in. One, two, three. Just like so. Cut that thread. Get rid of that. Out of the way. And pretty much we're just going to trim this down a lot smaller. Parallel with this hook shank. Take your scissors, get rid of that. I'm just going to give it a bit of a trim. So, what you end up with is a little ball of bread all the material sitting on the top of the hook there You've got a nice big gape underneath there and a really sharp point so anything that's interested you're going to maximize your hook up rates now you can trim that to whatever size you want just like so works really well for me puffs up nice in the water and to finish it off, we're just going to put a bit of UV glue on the front. Just where that is. Pull that material back a little bit. Hit it with the torch. That'll never come undone again. Just like so. And that's the yarn breadfly. You can fish that for all sorts of species in your local freshwater or saltwater system. A lot of species eat bread. A lot of people throw bread in for ducks and that sort of thing a lot of fish eat bread so a really simple little fly uh, we do heaps of flies at BWC flies so if you want to check us out uh, jump onto Facebook and uh, look up BWC flies you'll see lots of photos we keep the page up to date quite frequently um, jump on and like us thanks a lot Today Brett here from BWC Flies, just uh, finished tying up the little yarn uh, bread fly down in the estuary, just mucking around, having a bit of a session on the local mullet, and um, lots of fun, great for the kids, great way to spend the afternoon. Just a, um, a little brim, come up and took the, uh, the bread fly. So what we're doing, just burling up uh, out on the surface with uh, some old, old bread and um, lots of great fun. We'll just release him.
there you go, just another little um, mullet caught in the BW sea flies. Um, just using little TFO six weights, um, six pound sunline leader. And um, yeah, they're just coming up, taking all these, all the bread off the surface. Quite good to, um, to catch 